long, long ago, before the earth was made, there was a broad lake of clear blue water. High above the blue water was heaven, where the sun lived. High above heaven were the stars. These stars were so beautiful, the sun liked to watch them as he sat by his fire in heaven. Some were big, bright stars. Others were small, with a pretty, quiet glow. All the stars had a special place in the sky, and the sun knew just where to look for each one. One night, before the sun went into his teepee to sleep, he glanced over his shoulder noticed that there was a lovely new star in the sky. He watched it closely and soon became dazzled by its beauty. Suddenly, a shooting star streaked across the sky. Like a bolt of lightning, it struck the new star, sending it downward in a whirl of sparks. As the star fell, it turned into a beautiful little girl. The sun was amazed and wanted to save the little girl. He picked up a soft, furry skin put it down just where the girl was falling. The beautiful little girl thanked the son for his kindness, and the son liked her so much he made her his daughter. At dawn, the son had to go to light up the sky. Before leaving, he gave the little girl a magic black raven. The son told her that the raven would take her wherever she wanted, but he warned the little girl not to take the raven below the clouds of heaven, or she might fall into the vast lake. She promised that she would stay above the clouds. The girl was delighted with her new present and decided to climb up on it right away. She told the magnificent bird to take her high above heaven and they soared up into the air. They played games and flew to all parts of the sky. The little girl laughed as she made the raven fly about. After a while, she wondered what it was like below the clouds. And before long, she'd forgotten all about the sun's warning. So the little girl made the raven fly so fast that they plunged right through the clouds and headed straight for the huge lake below. The frightened girl tried desperately to make the raven fly up again. Finally, the raven tried to go up to the clouds of heaven, but just as they reached the clouds, his wings tired, and they slowly dropped toward the big lake. The little girl was so scared that she called out to the son for help, but she was out of his reach and he couldn't help her. Soon the little girl began to cry because she thought they would surely drown. At this moment, a muskrat, paddling about in the water below, heard the girl calling for help. He told the girl he would try to get some earth from the bottom of the lake to build an island. The muskrat dove deep into the lake, but he soon found that he could not go deep enough. So he called his friend, the otter. The otter plunged deep into the lake, and before long he appeared with a mound of earth on his head. The muskrat called his friends, the turtles, to hold the mound of earth while the otter went to get more. Now the sun shot down some warm rays to dry the mud. In no time at all, there was a small island floating in the middle of the lake. The raven was able to land smoothly on top of the earth, and the girl was safe. All the animals of the water continued to work on the island until it became as big as the earth is today. And many of the water animals joined the little girl by making their homes on the earth. And that is how the earth was made.